I woke up and I found her. I went to to wake her up and she was so cold with she was so cold, man. <laughs> An emotional day three of the Norman Smart murder trial. Smart is accused of beating his wife, Lauren, to death. Today, jurors heard chilling text messages Lauren sent to Norman begging for the abuse to stop. WJCL's Chelsea McDonald spent the day inside the courtroom and has more on today's testimony. After three hours of the medical examiner explaining that Lauren Brown Smart died of multiple blunt force injuries with strangulation, the prosecution and the defense rested. The medical examiner called Lauren Brown Smart's death an overkill. You can do this, man. You got him. Get him in there. Take care of him. But Norman Smart didn't like what he had to say. Officers seized Smart after he charged at the examiner. If there was an outburst that you were wearing a sunbelt, you would be shot down to the ground. But I thought you stopped your nose. The medical examiner said the bottom of men's shoes from the Smart home matched oval bruisings on Lauren's chest and stomach. The lead detective read several messages Lauren sent to Norman the night before she died. The last message, you're a terrible husband. You're mentally, physically, verbal, verbally abusive and there's absolutely no pleasing you. I think you actually get off on bullying me. The prosecution also played a recorded interview of Lauren's six-year-old son. He tells an investigator his mom screamed stop the night she died, but his dad wouldn't stop. Then Lauren's friend testified about a night Lauren and her children spent with her last year. She had a black eye and some bruises down her left side, her, her legs, her arms. When she said she was leaving, he'd be over the suitcase. She says not calling the police when she first saw the bruises is her biggest regret. The prosecution also played excerpts from jail calls and visits, one in particular where Smart was asking about a pair of 10-pound gloves. The defense argues he was only asking to sell them to pay for his attorney. The defense called no witnesses, and Norman Smart did not take the stand. Chelsea McDonald, WJCL News, working for you. We've been following the death investigation and the trial since the very start. Closing arguments are expected to begin tomorrow. Once a verdict is reached, you'll hear it first on WJCL News and online at WJCL.com. In the meantime, you can head to our website, WJCL.com, to catch up on the details. There you'll find stories covering this case from the beginning up to right now. You'll also see what's being done to help Lauren's family. It's the featured story on the right-hand side of our homepage at WJCL.com.